Well, an emphatic start to the video. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm here with Alistair Penman, and uh, we are going to talk to you about Woodstone Alto Sax ligatures. Now, Alistair, uh, you are a man of exemplary taste, both in your saxophones and in your ligatures, and you've been playing Woodstone for a little while, haven't you, already? Yes, so, in fact, the very ligature I've got on here, this is a shiny new one, so it looks nice with a video. My one has been well and truly used, um, but it was actually it was quite a few years ago when we actually did a video on these Woodstone ligatures when they were first out, and I think it was one of the few videos where I've played something and I thought, I've got to have one of those. Um, and I went out and instantly bought one of these um, Woodstone ligatures. Um, so this one I think is the original one. Um, and the one we've got on here is brass as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's it. So the original Alistair's using has been out for a good number of years. Uh, there is a new version called the Classic. And we're going to demonstrate that. And also the Kadama 2, which is a leather ligature with, interestingly, a little wooden plate that sits on the reed. So we've got all three. We're going to play them all, get Alistair's thoughts about them, tell you some of the differences in the materials and how they're made. Uh, and then obviously you can let us know what you think in the comments. But do you want to start off with your one, Alistair? Give us a nice blow on that and then we'll maybe have a chat about it after in a bit more detail. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Nice. So, I mean, I suppose, well, a couple of things. We're going to play the same thing on each one. So, it's like, you know, a little soft and then a little bit more, uh, something a little faster, as we've seen there. But the obvious question I should probably ask is why did you choose that one? Because, like you said, we've done loads of videos together. We've done lots of different trying of things together. What is it about that particular woodstone that you like? So, I think there are a few things. So, Interestingly, when we did this video as well, we tried all the different finishes, and there are some similarities between all of the finishes, and there are some slight differences as well. Um, but the thing I found is, with this particular model, I think all of the ligatures I tried made the sound somehow bigger and richer. It was as though, without me putting in any extra effort, I just sounded better, essentially. <laughs> which is, that's the, that's the ideal. I mean, it's, yeah, when you're going out trying gear, generally I think there's no point buying new stuff unless it makes you sound better, and this was something I tried, and I was like, that definitely makes me sound better. Mm. And I think it's it's a, a weird thing where it makes the sound both bigger and strangely kind of more focused at the same time. So it feels like I've got more control, but I'm also getting more depth to the sound. Normally you find most stuff you try, it'll give you one or the other. Yeah, um, yeah. But this is something that I found really kind of gives me both. Mm. And uh, Alistair mentioned they do different finishes. So Alistair's got the brass one on, they do a rose gold plate, a gold plate, there's a solid silver version solid silver with pink gold plates. So you can see all of these on the website, which we've linked below, and then the little card thing in the corner there on YouTube. Uh, and you can also see the prices there. We generally don't talk about the price on the video because the prices change quite a lot. Um, these aren't cheap. It starts with 100 and something is going to be the price in pounds. Uh, but if you check the links, you'll see that. Uh, so that is the original, as Woodstone call it. Next up, we're going to try the classic, which is a fairly new version from Woodstone. It's not wholly dissimilar in the body other than this screw mechanism. And it would be interesting to see if indeed it really plays differently at all and or if it's just more to do with the actual use of the screw and how the plate sits on the ligature. So we'll be right back with this one in a second and Alistair will give us his thoughts and a bit of a playing demo as well. Very nice. So that is the uh, new classic, as it's called. Um, I'm going to be honest, I didn't hear a huge difference. So I'm interested to see what you think, because it's not only the sound, I suppose, as the feel, the resistance, the, what, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I think I'd be pushed to tell a difference. If I was given these blind, 
I know. <laughs> I don't know whether I would be able to tell you which one was which. Yeah. Um, they're very similar. This one is very nice. I mean, push came to shove. Maybe this one's a tiny bit more focused, but mm. I mean, that might just be the way I put on the read the second time. Yeah. I mean, it's the, the differences we're talking are absolutely minimal here. Um, so I guess the main thing is just the design of it, the difference. Um, so that one, you've got the kind of two screws at the back, whereas this, if there anyone familiar with kind of the Otto Link ligatures that a lot of jazz tenor players use, kind of the one screw here. Um, so I guess kind of which one you go, you choose largely comes down to which, which you prefer. I mean, there is a certain attraction to having the, the single screw, but I can't say the two screws has ever bothered me. So no, it's, no. Uh, I suppose, yeah, sometimes the general thought, I remember speaking to Frank Bichon about this, the BG ligature chap, uh, and he was talking about equal pressure across the plate that's holding the reed from one screw is, is maybe easier to achieve with one screw mm -hmm. as opposed to two where you might have maybe over tightened one more than the other. Tiny differences we know. And if you're in the camp that you think ligature makes no difference at all, you probably haven't got this far in the video, let's be honest. Uh, but it is subtle and it is those final few percent. But it's about the sound, like we've said, but also the, the feel, like the resistance, the scent, you know, is the sound centered or whatever. So I think between these two, again, both available in different finishes and both available in two slightly different sizes on Alto to fit whichever mouthpiece you've got. More information about that on the website. And they do soprano, alto, tenor, baritone, etc. Yep. The metal ones are pretty similar. I think that's the conclusion we're coming to. However, this Kadama 2, uh, which is a full leather, uh, very thick double leathered uh, ligature with a wooden plate inside, uh, which is going to sit on the reed, I think this is going to be a little bit different. So we'll put that on and we'll be right back with that next. There we go, that's the Kadama 2. Interesting. I, I did hear a little difference from here. It'd be interesting to see what you guys feel. This was very difficult through the mic into YouTube, through your headphones, whatever you're watching on. So I suppose, and, and by the way, we're going to just let you know the kit we've been using on the mouthpiece and the reed in a second. But Alistair, just first thoughts about that Kadama 2 from a playing point of view. So again, I would say very similar to the other two. I think this one is slightly different. It's weird because I would expect it to be a lot more different given the completely different materials used mm. in it, kind of the leather and wood compared with the metal. I would normally expect a leather ligature to maybe be a bit duller. Um, but actually, I found this really focused. I think this is the most direct, most responsive of the three. I mean, it is, we are talking very marginal um, things here, but I think it does have a, an extra kind of focus to it. Mm. Um, so I guess kind of which one you might like best probably depends a lot on the rest of your setup. Um, so for me, this one's possibly getting towards being a tiny bit too direct for me. I think it, it I, don't, I don't know whether it loses anything on the others or not, but for me, it feels a little bit almost too immediate. I know that's a mm. weird thing to say. Um, it's as though it hasn't got quite enough resistance in a way. I, right. I, I like the other ones having that tiny bit more resistance. But the sound, I think, is incredibly similar. Yeah. And the, the, the overall feel is very similar. It's just a kind of very, very marginal differences. Yeah. Um, I think that's probably a good point, especially about the rest of your setup. So with that in mind, we, Alice is using a Selma Concept mouthpiece, which is his usual weapon of choice. Uh, and you're on a Ven today, I am a Ven on read. a Ven. I've been experimenting with lots of reeds, and this is a Daddario Ven I've got on at the moment. It's actually a three and a half that I've got on here. Hmm. Um, so often I play Van Doren reeds, and we've done videos on the synthetics, but the, the Ven I've found is about the closest um, of the synthetics to the Van Doren, so I've been enjoying experimenting with them at the moment. I wonder whether the difference in ligatures is as apparent when you're using a synthetic reed when, versus when you're using a cane reed. Who knows? That is a good question. We should know. I mean, this is what we're here doing. Yeah. <laughs> but when, maybe we'll do a video. I mean, maybe not. Um, <laughs> but OK, well, thank you, Alistair. I think what's the summary, really? Woodstone ligatures are really good. OK, that's the first thing to know. There's two or three variants. It may depend on what mouthpiece you have as to which is going to fit. And as I say, check that on the website. Or if you're not sure, get in touch with us at Dorks and we can happily recommend a couple of different options for you. Maybe, especially if you're in the UK, we can send you a couple of different ones for you to try at home, see which you like, and then send back what you don't want. 
Um, and I think, you know, you may have your own preferences about single screw on the top, screw at the front, two screws, whatever it is, and that may determine a little bit of your choice because it seems like other than that, they're actually fairly similar in how they perform and how they sound, especially, I think. Um, yeah, I think one final point worth yeah. making is we've done these three ligatures, which all sound very similar. Um, and you said some people argue whether ligatures make a difference at all. I would say actually these three ligatures are three of the nicest I've tried. I've found a lot of ligatures don't make much difference, but when I first tried these wood stones, I was fairly blown away by them. So mm. if you're comparing them to kind of a, a standard one that might have come with the instrument, it is well worth trying them to see the difference they make. Yeah, nice, good. Well said, Alistair. Um, all right, great. Well, that's it for us today. Thank you very much for watching. Do stay subscribed for our upcoming videos and uh, we shall speak to you again very soon.